I'm Chris with Maynard DIY, and today we're going to install this accordion door. Let's get to it. So we use this side of the shop for finishing. After we spray paint things, then they can dry in there. The problem becomes in this side of the shop, we use all the power tools and this is where all the dust is made. So we're trying to keep the dust from in here from going over there. Up to this point, we've been using this lovely sheet uh, that as you see, it can cause some problems. The goal is to keep the dust in here and out of that room. The problem is, the board that holds the sheet up it keeps falling and we trip over it and it's not good. The solution, the accordion door. Yeah, I know they're from the 70s in a bathroom somewhere in a trailer, but you know, they still do a good job and it's better than a pocket door because I don't want to reframe everything and it, I think it'll do the job. So let's get into it. I start off by measuring the opening. I have to make a filler piece because my opening is too tall. If you have a sander size opening, you may be able to skip this step. I'll come back and fill that space in the drywall later. Maybe. You want to make sure that your top plate is nice and level, otherwise the bottom of the door may drag when you open or close the door. Next, I trim the top rail to fit my opening. I'm only attaching one screw in the center, so that way I can pivot this track so I can slide this door right in. Now I can finish installing the rest of the screws into the track. After that, I mark evenly spaced locations for the clips that hold the door into the frame. vertical placement of these is not as critical as making sure they are all in a nice plumb line so that way the door can snap right in. It wouldn't be a good door install if I didn't have my best foreman on the job. Once you screw all the clips in, you can just snap the door into the clips to secure. Now to put the strike plate side on the frame. Ah! 
Now I mark for where the metal strips need to go for the magnets on the door to stick to. This is how the door stays closed. All that's left is to just push on the handle. Well, there you go. A nice easy solution to a problem of keeping the dust out of the finished side. So now, when we have pieces in there drying, we can just close that up and keep the dust out of there. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button down there. Hit subscribe over there if you want to make sure you keep track of all the things we're doing around here. And we will catch you on the next one.